after 21 days, the Bill O'Brien era at Ohio State is over. He's headed to Boston College, and now former UCLA head coach Chip Kelly takes the offensive coordinator reins. We have a lot more on a wild Friday of Buckeye football ahead. It's not even football season. Yeah. First off, Crazy. this is a basketball show, yeah. so let's start right there. Welcome into Four Court Press, everybody. Some big matchups with league titles on the line. And with that, we start in the Central Catholic League. Yeah, Bishop Hartley has been almost perfect this season. Just two losses on the year so far, but they have been perfect in league play. 3-0 coming into tonight. And they would love to keep that undefeated league record on the road at Waterson. The Eagles would love to play spoiler, and we had some Viking magic at halftime. I was blown away by this one. <laughs> that looks awesome. Hartley led by one at at the break. First possession of the third quarter, Jaden Calloway adds to the Hawks' lead. And then Watterson starts to roll. Blaze Olin hits a three to tie the game. More from him. He gets out on the break, goes coast to coast, puts the Eagles on top by two, and Watterson stays strong, handing Hartley its first CCL loss, 42-33. to Orange looking to just get on a new win streak on the road at Bradley tonight. A huge thanks to our buds at 270 Hoops for these highlights. Orange has a legitimate superstar in Devin Brown, and on the other and Bradley with their own star, Cade Norris, going one on one at Brown, wins the battle here. Jaguar faithful fired up back to Brown, showing the athleticism on one play and the range on another. He can do it all. He had 17 points. This was a close one. Orange winning 51 to 47 and wins the OCC Central title. Gahanna and Grove City both five and four in league play, scoring off tonight a minute 14 to play. Lions lead by 12. Greyhounds not done. Kevin Gallagher comes down, hits a quick three. Grove City Still has life. 59 seconds left. More free throws for Gahanna. Jonathan Whiteside hits one of two. And then Grove City's big man, Craig Gilbert. Six foot seven, showing the range. Hits from beyond the arc. It's a seven point game now. 35 ticks to go. Lions do hit enough free throws. They win it 76 71. Over to Sciota High, the Irish hosting Big Walnut. Fourth quarter, Aaron Foster sees a path to the basket, doesn't let the defender stop him. It falls by the mercy of the iron for two. On the other end, though, Graham Federer picking up a loose ball and gets the kiss off the window. Golden Eagles with the 60-51 win on the road. To the City League, Northland needing a win for a chance at the City League championship game. Beechcroft looking for revenge after a big loss earlier this season to the Vikings. Vikings going through Nehemiah McMorris. He passes out of the double team to Jazir Smith for the easy two. Cougars also doing some work inside. Santonio Dorch flies in for the rebound and the putback. Beechcroft goes up by one. And next time down the court, Aurelius Scott pulls up, hits the jumper. But then back-to-back -back buckets for the Vikings. They Start with a Savon Craighead three. This went to overtime. Northland gets the win 76 69. Congratulations to the South Bulldogs. They beat West tonight 53 to 40 and for the first time since 1944 go undefeated in the division. We're still not sure who, who they're going to play for the city championship. Lyndon McKinley has the best North record, but they've already played an OHSAA regulation 22 games. So if they can't play, it'll be Northland. Stay tuned. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to do that. We go out west to Marysville. Girls basketball action. The Monarchs hosting the Berlin Bears in the opening quarter. The Bears work the rock around the arc. It's Lauren Ellis who tickles the twine with the three ball. Berlin up by one. Moments later on the fast break, Cammie Elliott letting it fly from outside. The swish three gives the Bears a four-point lead at the end of the first. And no better way to kill time between quarters than with a little dance-off here. When the action resumed, Abby Price, the price is right. Right, cash is in on the triple. Marysville goes on to dominate Berlin 52 to 14 your final and we head back to Dublin where the Kaufman girls hosted upper Arlington final minute of the opening quarter. Elizabeth Hunt finds a wide open Quinn Buttermore in the corner. Nothing but net on that three UA leading 30 to 14 to the second quarter. The drive by Kylie Mast determined to get to that hoop gets the bucket and the whistle. But even with the free throw Kaufman still down by 12 on the other end. Tatum Thrush to Buttermore, and she swings it back inside to Thrush, who gets the deuce in the paint to fall. UA gets a big win on the road, 38-26. to Tomorrow is the Girls' City League Championship, and what a matchup it's going to be. Centennial looking to knock off the reigning champs, Afrocentric. Both teams undefeated in league play. That tips off at noon at East High. 
Well, the season is coming down to those final games. The girls tournament draw I mentioned it happened earlier this week. The sectional tournament begins on Monday for the boys. The tournament draw is Sunday. And with that in mind, here are our power rankings for tonight. Not many changes on the boys side. The top four teams all won. They stay put. But with the Hartley loss, New Albany moves into the top five after a win over Pickerington North. Now to the girls side, Pick Central and Olentangy both still undefeated in league play. In Marysville, we showed you their big win. They stay put, as does Afrocentric, playing for another City League title tomorrow. Granville takes on Licking Valley tomorrow.